thank you all very, very much for coming out and supporting in this uh, awesome opportunity for us to, to roll in not one, but two pieces of brand new apparatus for Bernalillo County. Today we are pushing in two brand new uh, state-of-the-art Pierce Velocity engines. Um, these engines have uh, what's called clean cab technology. That is the piece that I said was going to set the bar for others to follow. And basically what the clean cab technology does for us is it provides an added layer of protection for our men and women who are proudly serving every day. Um, every day they are exposed to a number of different harmful threats in the job. And we as management's job is to limit those threats. And one of those that we kind of maybe hadn't paid attention to a lot in the past was carcinogens that are a result of the burning of uh, houses and the stuff that the houses are made of or the contents within those homes. Traditionally, we would just take all of that stuff with us wherever we went. We'd go in, we'd fight the fire, we'd get back in the truck, put all of our gear back in the truck, and off we'd go to, to the next call. Well, through, through scientific research and study and statistics, we've now learned that that could be or is being labeled as one of the leading causes of cancer amongst firefighters. So we as Bernalillo County decided it was time for us to do our part to, to help protect our members, not only today, and as the fire chief, my job is to protect our members today, but more importantly, to protect my members 20 years, 25 years from now, so that they can go out and enjoy a, a happy retirement. Engineer Deer here. Our hardworking, dedicated firefighters put their lives on the line every time they leave their fire stations. We want them to know that Bernalillo County appreciates their hard work and wants to give them the best vehicles and equipment possible to make their job safer and productive. And I want to give thanks to the New Mexico Professional Firefighter Association President, Robert Sanchez, again, because this was his baby. He put a lot of work and time into this. He's give, given countless of hours to the union membership and the safety of members. So Robert, I give you credit for this, man, and we appreciate what you've done, and I will continue to run with it and be successful, so thank you. These trucks will not have gear ever introduced into their cab, which is just a, a complete change in how we have traditionally done business. That gear will now be housed in the rear compartment of each of the trucks, so that the chance of contaminants being exposed or our members being exposed to contaminants goes way down. As a tradition, we do this to honor those who came before us, to celebrate where we have been and where we're going as well as to show pride, ownership, and unity among the members and the community.